What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Bullet 1850 RB. And this is going to be one of Bullet's smallest travel trailers that they offer. So it is a great entry level travel trailer, especially for couples. If they're looking to get something that is just a step up above what is offered in an aluminum sided trailer, you get a fiberglass sided travel trailer here that is a single axle very small very lightweight easy to get around and move around with and get out and do the camping that you want to do so let's get into it let's go take a look what's up y'all welcome back to another video if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos i'm super excited that you're here just sit back relax and enjoy and if you get something out of it consider hitting that like button down below and definitely the subscribe button and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world if you want to connect with me on other social media sites, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV or any RV for that matter, you can text me at the number above and I would love to get you more information and help you find your next RV. So I'm very excited to walk through these bullet travel trailers with you. As we walk through this one that we're looking at today, we are going to be doing this in kind of a series where we're looking at a bunch of the different bullet travel trailers that there are that they offer and give you a quick rundown on what the Bullet brand is real quick because I really like this brand. First of all, they have a great name, great look on the outside as well, and a great look inside. But they have three different tiers of products that they offer. So they have the Bullet Crossfire, which is going to be their first tier. Then you have the Ultralight Bullet, which will be just their standard bullet that they have here. And then you also have your Bullet Premier, which we have down here all the way at the end that'll be more of a luxury style travel trailer as well. So I like the Bullet brand so much because they have something to offer for every level of camper out there. And I think it is just a great brand for no matter what you're looking for, you can typically find something within the Bullet lineup that will fit what you need for what kind of camping you wanna do. So real quick, before we get into looking at the trailer we're gonna look at today, let's talk about some of the differences between these three tiers. So the Bullet Crossfire is going to be the most entry level of the three. It is going to be the smallest of the three as well. The Bullet Crossfires have eight different floor plans that range anywhere from 35 to 5,500 pounds. They're gonna be at a height of about 10 foot four to 10 foot 10, which is gonna make them the shortest out of the three lineups that we have. It's gonna have a flat line ceiling. It's going to have um, you know, a little bit smaller frame. It doesn't have side skirts. Um, like around your wheels and stuff like that things in this area like what you'll have in the Regular ultralight bullet that you see here. So some differences like that that you'll have So this is like their most stripped down bullet model um, great for an entry-level camper that just needs something to get out and camp in comfortably But it's still going to offer a lot of features and comfort that you're looking for out of a travel trailer Then you go up to the ultralight bullet or just the standard bullet here and with this one in this bullet model, you're going to have approximately 10 different floor plans. Um, those are gonna be, they have Eastern and Western floor plans. Here in Texas, we just get the Eastern ones, but if you include the West Coast floor plans, there's about 24 different floor plans that bullet makes. And these are gonna range anywhere from 4,500 to 7,300 pounds. And these are gonna be 10 foot eight to 10 foot 11 in height. These are gonna have a barrel ceiling. You get a larger refrigerator in these than you do in the Crossfire. You're gonna to start to get the Thomas Payne upgraded designer furniture. They're gonna come equipped with a TV that the Crossfires will not have. And then you get a legless dinette table as well, which the Crossfires will not have. And then finally, as we walk up here, you're gonna have the Premier, which the Premier is gonna be the most luxury of the three. The Premier is gonna come with 11 different floor plans. They're gonna range anywhere from 4,600 to 7,800 pounds. And these are gonna be the tallest of the three. So they are going to be 11 feet to 11 foot four on the total height. And then they're gonna have a larger TV than the standard bullet, what the standard bullet comes with. They're gonna have a 15,000 BTU AC standard, um, regardless of whether that's ordered or not, it'll come standard with the 15,000 BTU AC. You're gonna start to get solid surface countertops in the Premier that you don't have in either of the other two. You're gonna have um, larger outdoor entertainment spaces. You're gonna have a fireplace and stuff like that in here that does not come standard. Plus it has a different front cap. You can see like on a standard bullet here, you have the diamond, you know, or yeah, it's kind of like a diamond plating up here up front for that skirt. And then on the bullet premiere, it's actually like this painted on sort of 
um, textured material here that's going to be kind of your rock guard up front there. So differences in that regard too, as far as the design. But that's kind of the rundown on the different bullet products and what they have. Um, they come in various different sizes. You can see, even though this is a Premier here and it's very luxury, it's still a small travel trailer. So they have different sizes in all of these to fit every camper's needs. So I love that about the Bullet brand. But that's the quick rundown on everything with Bullet. Now let's get into looking at the trailer that we're looking at today. So this here is the 2022 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1850RB. It is going to be a total length of about 22 feet 6 inches. Actually, that's the exact length on the inside of the sticker there. So 22 feet 6 inches and the dry weight is about 40... Oh gosh, I already forgot. I just looked at it and I forgot. The specs are up on the screen, but I want to show you on the sticker here for this exact unit. 4260. Cool. So 4,260 pounds on the dry weight there. It is going to be a real small, lightweight couples trailer, although it does have a pullout sofa, so you could sleep an additional one or two people in here as well. But really great for just a single person or a couple looking to get out and get camping and figuring out what that's all about. So let's walk around the outside, take a look. Like we talked about, this is a bullet crossfire, so this is the entry level bullet line that you have. And as we go around, you're going to see, first of all, up front, you're going to have a power tongue jack up here. So you will have a power jack here to raise this up and down. And you'll have room for two 20-pound propane bottles. And then your batteries will go back here on this part of the frame. Then you have this box here. This is like your battery disconnect. So this here, you can actually turn this to power off. And that is going to allow you to kill all the power going to your battery so that if you leave your campsite and you want to make sure that your battery doesn't die you don't have to go through and turn off each individual light make sure every individual thing is turned off you can just go flip that switch right there and it'll take care of that for you coming around to this side you do have a solar plug out here so you can plug in additional solar however because this is a keystone trailer and because it is 2022 it is coming standard with a 200 watt solar panel i was going to see if you can see it from over here Oh, it's on the other side. There it is. They put them on different spots on all these, I feel like. But yeah, it's over on this side. You're going to have the 200 watt solar panel up on the roof there that you can see. So that will be standard from the factory and installed. So you can add on to that solar if you want to, adding another plug out there. But you do have the 200 watt solar panel, which is going to be making sure that your battery can maintain a charge. So that'll be keeping your battery charged while you're out camping and it works with this solar charge controller this is a victron solar charge controller and it's going to come with an app that you can use that will allow you to basically monitor things like how much power is being drawn from your solar panel and the battery life left on your battery things like that so some useful information then you see next to it here you have inverter prep so if you did want to add another or add a inverter on here and expand upon the solar capabilities, you could start getting power to some of the outlets inside this RV from solar as well. But I wanna point out while we're underneath here, look at how big this storage compartment is. This is actually much bigger than I was expecting. I don't know why, but it is a really big storage compartment. And you can see here, because a lot of people looking at something like this, maybe comparing it to an aluminum sided trailer. Well, an aluminum sided trailer is going to have wooden framing throughout this has aluminum framing as you can see underneath here and then with keystone i also want to point out all of your welds on here are on both sides of every connection so your welding is going to be on both sides of your connection points throughout this framing I want to point that out because that is something that not all manufacturers do um, which is pretty surprising i know when we were at the fort worth rv show i've talked about this a few times there were literally customers getting up underneath here to check that because they had seen it on other manufacturers where it was only welded on one side of the frame connections so i want to point out that they do that in here but also just point out how big this space is it is really large you could definitely as a full grown adult crawl all the way through there it's that big and then you have your two controls here for your electric stabilizers as it does have electric stabilizers underneath here and while we're under here we'll take a look at the underbelly as well so you can see that it is fully enclosed and insulated underneath here so everything under there is protected and you have insulation and heat underneath there where all your water tanks are your water tanks do sit above the um, insulation so your water tanks and water lines sit 
above the insulation in this underbelly cavity so that they are above that and in the same cavity where the heat is being fed so you do get radiant heat into those areas as well. And then something that's kind of unique about the bullets as well is they come with this um, next gen frame. This next gen frame is from um, Norco Industries in Indiana. It's made with all American made steel and it has some pretty cool things to it. It's a really lightweight frame and they do some things like where they use a lot of basically machine made components. So a lot of the stamping and welding that's done in this framing is all done by a machine so it eliminates the human air to it and then they also use hook bolts for all the connections in this framing and the hook bolts are something worth pointing out because they have a 6,000 pound clamp force which is stronger than welds and they use those throughout here so that's something else that's on a lot of this framing here so you're getting a really strong solid frame that is pretty unique to the bullet and it is something that is worth pointing out that I've started to learn more about as I learned the more deeper details to some of these trailers and that is going to be part of that is the frame that these bullets come on so as we go around you're going to see you have cable driven slides on the outside here so this the advantage to the cable driven slides is these cables are pushing and pulling the unit out at all four corners evenly each time so as it goes in and goes out it's pushing and pulling from all four points evenly and that's going to give it a more smooth motion as it goes in and out to prevent damage from happening to the RV when you are operating that slide out. Oh, I forgot to point out something over here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have your fresh and city water connections right here. Just wanted to point that out real quick because that is where you will hook up your water. And then as we go around back over here, this is going to be your black tank flush. So you will have a black tank flush valve. Now this is something that is also gonna be a little unique because a lot of things that this brand might compete with in an aluminum sided trailer don't have a black tank flush valve like that. So that is something that is also nice that the bullet has that some other stuff may not have. And then underneath here, you have your outdoor shower connection where you can hook a hose up to that that it will come with for an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. Underneath here, your black and gray tanks are both gonna drain out of this one spot here right behind the axle. And then on the back side of the trailer, you're gonna have a satellite connection here if you wanted to hook up a satellite to this RV that would be portable on the ground. Your 30 amp power plug connection. So it is a 30 amp unit. You have a nice little storage spot here where if I can get this open, let's see, I might not be able to do it with one hand right now because it's really tight. Basically, it gives you access to the sewer hose storage compartment here. So you can store your sewer hose up underneath there instead of storing it under the axle. Or not under the axle, sorry, in the bumper. <laughs> You're storing it behind the axle instead of storing it behind the bumper or stuffed into the bumper like a lot of people have to do. So you have a designated storage spot for your sewer hose. You're going to have a backup camera ready. So the pre-wiring is all done for that if you do want a backup camera. And then... You have the spare tire back here coming around to this side you have your awning so your awning will cover about two-thirds to three-fourths of the side of your rv here and it'll come out about eight feet or so and you have your outdoor speakers both right there and then access to your pasture storage from this side as well that's pretty much everything on the outside i want to make sure i didn't miss anything um, you do have the WineGuard 360 digital antenna up there as well. So it will be an omnidirectional antenna. And then before we go inside, we'll talk about this right here, which is going to be Priority RV Network. Now what Priority RV Network is, is if you are traveling on the road and you have any sort of emergency, this is something that is a great benefit to being a holiday world customer. We have 130 different dealerships all across the United States that will offer you trip interruption service, which is going to be something like if you have an AC that goes out, a major water leak, refrigerator stops working, anything that would prevent you from being able to use the RV properly. Any one of these 130 different dealerships across the United States offer front of the line service to any of our customers. So this is something that you cannot buy into. It's something that you only become a member in when you purchase an RV from Holiday World. And it's a huge deal because if you're on the road and something, urgent does happen we have all these different places where we can get you in the front of the line at their service departments to get you back on the road and back camping as quickly as possible so it doesn't completely ruin your trip 
So that's something that's a big deal that we always try to make sure we talk about. In addition to that, I try to film back here when I can, but we also have a campground on our facilities and sometimes I forget to mention this, but this is a huge deal. This area back here where we have a couple units hooked up right now, those are our customers. And this campground back here, we have full electrical and water hookups that our customers can use for free. So whether you purchase your RV from us and you're here local in Dallas or you come from a long ways away, we have this space back here that our customers can use where when you purchase your RV, you can actually stay with us for a day or two to test everything out, make sure everything works properly, make sure you understand how to do everything before you take it home and before you go on your first trip. So that's a huge benefit as well, just to give you that ease of mind and comfort as you get into your new RV, knowing that you know what you're doing and that you have something that works and is reliable before you go on your first trip. So that's everything that I have to mention there. And now let's go hop inside this bullet. Redo. All right, as we go inside here, I get really excited showing this bullet brand because I know what like my family's first, even our first couple RVs look like. And I know what people have in mind when they traditionally think of like a entry level or starter travel trailer. And I feel like bullet just is a breath of fresh air when people realize what you can get in a starter travel trailer. First of all, this is a great floor plan has a slide out in it so you get lots of floor space, has the freestanding table that it comes with, and it's gonna have the big AC unit on here, I think. Let me see if we ordered, how we ordered this one. Oh, it doesn't have it on here. I'll get, I'll check on what the specs on this AC is. It's either a 13.5 or a 15,000 BTU AC, but it's gonna be a dump down AC system, so it does just pour down into this area here, but it's such a small camper that you're still gonna get the cold that you need. And then, has all this floor space, a really nice looking floor. It, I was surprised to see actually does have the Thomas Payne upgraded furniture in here. So you have that as well. And it's just a really good looking trailer for where it's at in the spectrum of travel trailers offered. You can see on this one here, the MSRP on it is 31. So we're gonna be selling it somewhere in the $20,000 range, which is gonna put it right there with something like a Keystone Springdale, which would be Keystone's aluminum sided trailer. But I just feel like this just has a more luxury feel for that person looking for something that, you know, just has a little bit more touch to it and a little bit more design um, that was kept in mind in the process of it. Comes with the upgraded furniture that you're not going to have on the Springdale, stuff like that. And it comes with, I mean, like the way that your shelves and stuff are framed out behind the bed, it's going to be different than most entry level travel trailers. Things like your black, uh, your backsplash design and little things like that a lot of stuff i just i wish i had a springdale right next to us because i feel like that's what this would be compared to best and this is just gonna really be for maybe just a few thousand dollars more it could be even less than that potentially you get just a really great looking fiberglass sided travel trailer but as we look through this i'll point out some of the um, stuff underneath the hood here that we don't see first of all with your flooring underneath here you have what is called the hyperdeck flooring so that is going to be flooring that is using a polypropylene and fiberglass layers along with a block foam layer for insulation and the biggest advantage to this flooring underneath here is that it's completely water resistant it doesn't use any wooden materials whatsoever so one it's more lightweight than wood but it's also completely water resistant you could theoretically submerge it in water and it would never incur any water damage so that is going to be huge for rv owners and just the lifespan of their rv making sure that that subflooring there is not going to be affected by water damage if water does get exposed to it so that's something that keystone started doing last year that they're really excited about and want to point that out as well um next to your sofa right here so this is a two cushion sofa this model does come with recliners i believe but right now we have two of these on the lot and both of them have the um, pull out sofa so you'd have to order one to get the recliners in that if that was something that you wanted and it takes about three to four months to get an order in but you have the sofa here it is nice it will pull out and make a bed and this freestanding table can store under the sofa or underneath your bed here so we'll look at those in a second but next to the sofa you have this nice little storage cubby under here and then you have this um tabletop that you have for some uh places to put some things plus you have cup holders on both sides and you have storage in the armrest that's actually pretty deep. So good size storage there, and you'll have that on both sides of the sofa. 
underneath to your slide out. First of all, I want to point out, this is like a PVC woven type of material. So you can hear what that sounds like. And it's going to be a really solid material. Feels much more sturdy than carpet. Plus it's easier to clean than carpet. And then also if water spills on it, it's hard for water to penetrate through that woven material. And if it did, underneath here, you have a fully wrapped subfloor. So that is this right here. This is your subfloor and it's all fully wrapped underneath there. So that is gonna be an added layer of protection for your slide out flooring as well that you have on there that a lot of manufacturers don't do. There's a lot of manufacturers where you pull up that carpeting and it's just going to be exposed wood underneath there. So you actually have a wrapped subfloor underneath that's protected in this bullet as well. And I did wanna show real quick with the bed out here as the sofa pulled out into the bed, how much space you have. You can still walk around everywhere. If you're sleeping in the bed here, you can still get to the bathroom with ease. And this is gonna be pretty much like a full size bed that it'll make out to here. So another sleeping spot. And then I also wanna point out as well, you do have some storage space underneath here. So it'll be slight when you put this uh, sofa back down into there. And actually, you know, what? it's so easy. I can even do it with one hand. So you lift this up, it'll fold down like so. And then you just flip these legs in. I guess it does require two hands for just this one step. Put that down like that. You will still have space underneath the sofa. So if you can see underneath here, there is room under there for storage. So that's worth pointing out as well that you will have that room underneath there to store things. And it's so easy to put this bed up and down. You just put these cushions back in there and you're good to go. You have your sofa back. And if you need to sleep a guest or two, you do have room for them there. And it's not gonna be a super pain in the butt hassle to set up a bed and put it back together if you do need that level of accommodation. So that is something I wanted to show and make sure you were able to see. And then this is what your floor space looks like without the table there. And that table, like I said, it can store underneath the sofa here with ease. Moving over to the bed area, this bed will lift up and you will have storage underneath it. So you have this storage area underneath the bed. And then next to your bed, you're gonna have wardrobe hanging spots so you can hang clothes up in here. And then you're gonna have two pull out drawers as well underneath there. Then nothing here, that's all just gonna be space to put things down on and then you have more storage cubbies underneath here plus you have a nice hole there so if you did need to put things up here that require power you can wire it down through there to your outlet then i want to point out these are inverted outlets so if you did add the inverter and another solar panel you can start getting power to your outlets from solar so that's something you have you also have the usb ports back on each side of the bed as well so i really like that design how they give you lots of places to put things on your bedside because I think that's important as Americans, it seems like we just have more and more devices that we keep on us pretty consistently. Things like phones, Apple watches, all that stuff, tablets, all kinds of things. So that's your whole area there. If you did want to put a TV in this unit, as all the crossfires do not come with a TV installed, there is a place where you can mount it right there and all the wiring would come through here and plug into right there. So you do have a hole right there for the wiring to go through and you can mount a TV here that would swivel out and you can see it throughout the entire RV. You're gonna have the Furion sound system. You do have speakers inside the RV. So speaker here and speaker there, plus the outside speakers. And then you're gonna have all this storage space in here. Good amount of countertop space for what this RV is. And then I know usually I said I just open up all the drawers at once. But there's so few drawers and cabinets in here. We're just going to go through them and I'm going to show you what's in here. So you can see underneath there and under the sink, you're going to have all of this storage space that you have. With all your plumbing in here, it's all PEX, um, PEX piping for your water lines. And then all this stuff is residential. So I was just, you know, kind of talking to people about this. And a lot of stuff, if you have any sort of plumbing issues that need repairs and things, that a lot of the parts that you would need is just what you can find at Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff like that. So nice that they use a lot of residential features in their plumbing. You also have two cabinets up here, up above the sink. Um, so you will have a space up here that you have 
that is really deep for storage. And then this little piece here, this is actually to operate the slide out. So your slide mechanism right behind this panel here, if you did have to manually push this out, this connects back behind there and you can actually connect it there to a drill and it'll push and pull that slide out in with this tool. So that is what that is for. And then your sink, it is going to have one of these faucets here that pulls out and moves around, looks cool. I also like the big campsite window. So if you think about it, when you're out camping, you're hanging out in here, this is gonna be where your campsite is and you're gonna be able to see out into your campsite through that window, real nice. And then you have a big single basin sink here with these racks that will um, come out like that. So they roll out and that'll be able to cover your sink here so you can have that prep space if you need it for different things. A suburban two burner cooktop plus the gap or the glass part that covers that so that you can again use that as a prep space and that's pretty much it in that area you're gonna have a about an eight cubic foot refrigerator it is a propane and electric refrigerator and then next to it is what most people will probably use as their pantry and you're gonna have just these huge open cabinets here that can be used for whatever you want but lots of space in those cabinet areas there as well. All of your controls are gonna be right here when you walk in, so easy to get to. You can get, if you have the slide out pushed in here, you're still gonna be able to get to the bed. You're still gonna be able to get to the bathroom. You'll be able to access everything you need with the slide out pushed in on this RV. Now in the bathroom, you're gonna have, let's see if this is a, sure is, it is a porcelain toilet. So you have a porcelain Dometic toilet there nice thing about that too is this is like a residential style toilet so if you wanted to swap out that toilet seat say you sat on there and you just wiggled around a little too much and that thing snapped or something you can just go to home depot or lowe's and replace this with any residential style toilet seat so that's nice as well i'm actually surprised they put a porcelain toilet in here that's it's a lot of value you get in this travel trailer that you're not gonna get in something that's really comparable to it in the entry level side in an aluminum sided trailer so I'm just seeing more and more the reasons why this is just such a great buy if you're looking for an entry-level travel trailer. In the shower, it is gonna be a quarter shower. You're gonna have the, um, the shower head, you can move around wherever you want, but it is does have the mounts right there. You're gonna have different spots for some soap and whatnot to put in here. And then it is going to just close up like that, like so with the magnet latch, which is nice. So nice and uh, solid close there with the magnet in the door. You have your sink off to the side, another inverted outlet over there if you want to add more solar. And then you have your medicine cabinet storage. And storage underneath here. Be somewhat limited because of all the water piping and whatnot, but you do have space underneath there. So that is your bathroom. And that's pretty much everything. I want to point out too, you do have a vent here that will open up, so you can open that up too if you want to vent some air out. And finally, you do have a Wi-Fi router here as well. Not a Wi-Fi router, but you can install a Wi-Fi router here. So if you did want to get a, a Wi-Fi router installed, all the wiring is done right here. It can just plug into there and mount into the ceiling and you're good to go. So that's just about everything on here. I think this is a beautiful looking entry level travel trailer. Definitely feels more luxurious in here than an entry level travel trailer I would feel like should. Um, you know, it's just a really good solid feeling trailer and something that almost feels like livable if it had the adequate space to accommodate what someone needs to be comfortable in here with how nice it feels. So definitely something I think is worth coming and checking out if you're in the entry level travel trailer market. So that's it y'all, that's all I got for y'all. If you got something out of this video and you liked it, hit the like button down below and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and then if you're interested in this travel trailer, it's something that you're wanting to look at purchasing and want purchasing information or to set up a time to come and look at it, contact me at this number up here above and I would love to help you out, get you all the information that you need or schedule a time for you to come and take a look. So text me with your name and what you were looking at at that number there and I would love to help you out. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.